Shoulder, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Dusk's Tale. We are here with Dusk, and I am back. This is my first bit of recording that I've done since moving to my new location. I finally have internet, and I finally have my setup set back up, and I am rearing to get back into the shoes of Dusk. Now, there are probably a few things that I will have forgotten because it's been over two weeks since we sat down last. I have been back towards the car. I have tried to sleep as best we can and, well, allowed some of our wounds to heal. But we do have more of this place to see, to explore. We need to make our way over towards the West Wing to see if we can't, um find some more things. Now we're doing more of an overview, a kind of a sweep really. We're trying to make sure that this place is clear so that when we come through here to pick things up, we're going to be able to do that. But for the most part, there aren't going to be things in here that we are desperately searching for right the second. Like mutagens, for example, if we found them, we'd be all for that. We'd be on that in a hot second. But I think it's unlikely that we're going to find those things, especially up here on the top levels. We are just trying to make sure that there aren't any other... Ha! Huh, friends. You're outside. Are you just on the windowsill? You are. Interesting. Okay, how did we get there then? Let's see. <laughs> um, I do want to thank those of you who have pointed out that uh, Krav Maga does work with the baton. It's just once it's extended. Yes, I was being dumb. It does happen from time to time. Surprise, surprise. So there are a lot of batteries here that we can use. We're not going to be grabbing those right now. That's something that we're going to come back for because we are working with the limited weight. We did have some shoes, some clothes here that might make us believe that there are some scientists moving around in the space, but we're not seeing any right now. Let's just uh, have a look at this. I was trying to see if I could find a baton earlier on. Um, I wouldn't mind grabbing that clean water. We don't have a huge amount at the moment, so let's just go ahead and unload that clean water into our canteen, just so that we're carrying some with us. We are in minimal pain still from our previous fights. So we're going to take an aspirin for that. And I did try to sleep pretty much the whole night through, so yeah, it just didn't happen for us, unfortunately. However, dusk, we will power on throughout this place. We can see a zombie security guard to the north who doesn't see us yet. But we have most certainly seen them. I will stop and grab thread along the way. <laughs> Just because, well, I am compelled to do so. Alright, do we have clean water in here as well? I'm imagining it's probably going to be something that's relatively common, and that it is. So that usually makes me think we don't need to worry about carrying so much clean water around with us, but I at the very least want to have, um, you know, close to our maximum if we can. As for those plastic bottles, we'll leave them for now. Still useful, but um, right this second, not exactly what we need. Okay, we are going to turn this on. Activate that headlamp of ours, just so we can see a little bit better what's happening around us. We'll start to take some slashes at the security guard with fangs and, well, quite uh, rough strikes. We're able to take him down without too much trouble. Looks like it's another, well, I was going to say a break room, but no, it's just more workspace. Yes, as you know, we will be going through, just making sure that there aren't any bad boys lingering in here. Lots of clothes. Okay. Ah, hello there. Oh, there's a few of you. Alright, we can handle this. Security guard first. They're a little bit more dangerous than the security, the, well, the scientists who don't seem to drop flasks as much. We hear, bloop. No, we're gonna continue smashing. But yes, it does sound like there is more fun times happening beneath us. Well, isn't that great? And I think, yeah, our headlamp is finally starting to run out of batteries, so we are going to swap that out once we find our next set. Ooh, a good crit. That's three crits in a row. 
I guess we are having kind of multiple attacks with that. I'm gonna grab you right now. <laughs> Medical tape, duct tape, just always, always useful. So, yeah, grab it while you can. <laughs> grab it while it's hot. So let's just go back down here for a second. We'll see if we can just take, I think these are ultralight batteries here. We're gonna unload this headlamp and we're going to go and reload it with the batteries are that we cannot use right there. Okay, so we need another set of batteries. We did have a number up in here as well. Well, there have actually been many, many batteries, but the question is whether or not they are the correct batteries for us. Uh, fine. We might just have to continue on until we find some. Ah, oh, reload the headlamp. Right, I was, again, doing some dumb stuff. It happens, believe it or not. Wild, I know. Uh, let's have a look at these books, because they are potentially of use to us. How to browse the web. And there we go, we've got a baton. Now, that is a PR24 baton, so it's not exactly an extendable baton. It is extendable, but it's just, yeah. Let's see, we will take the baton. Okay. And we'll go ahead and activate it. Let's see, where are you, baton? Oh, we're not wielding it at the moment. Wield the baton. All right, so it says it's not a valid weapon. There we go, snap it open. So it's open at the moment. What if we go ahead and put it away, and then if we go and try to wield it while it is out as extended? Oh yeah, yeah, it looks like it's gonna work for us. So this baton could be a good friend to us. Let's see, nice, good damage. We sink our fangs in and we force them to the ground. So yeah, we are using Krav Maga. Fantastic, excellent, very, very nice. Let's keep on moving, Dusk. Keep on moving. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. It's a plastic stopcock. Of course it is. <laughs> All right. Onwards we go. A little bit of damage here. And I'm hearing noises, but I'm pretty sure we're hearing that from downstairs. Maybe I'm wrong. Ah, I was wrong. Okay. Stumble forwards. Yeah, it's good. And it sounds you know, decently kind of weighty. Looks like we've got some computers stashed away in there. This place is just an absolute gold mine. Even without, you know, the good materials that are here, just by disassembling some of the things that we have around us, just do absolute wonders. Yeah. Very, very nice. Autonomous surgical scalpels. Not a bad CBM. I am, I am very tempted by the other CBM that we found. Believe me, I really am. Hey, a doctor's badge. Hmm. A plastic name tag marking the wearer as a real doctor of the medical kind. We're going to go ahead and take that. We're actually going to wear that. Um, we have had insta instances in the past where badges have actually made it so that uh, automatons and robotic things would recognize us as what is on that badge be it a QR code or something like that that indicates to them who we are, that might come in handy. Okay, all right. We're probably not going to be taking batteries from the two-way radios at the moment, just because we're kind of spoilt. Currently, we don't need to do that, so we won't, as that takes up precious, precious time. Okay. I really don't want to get too relaxed in here as well, because... This is my first research facility that I've explored. There is a chance that, um, you know, there could be turrets interspersed here. So, uh, we want to, we want to be a little cautious still. Nice big break room, lots of clothing, but we have to remember that there are many, many scientists here and it keeps going up. This research facility is, wow. We, I mean, we haven't even gone down yet. I don't know how far down down goes, but um, yeah, up has taken us up quite a few levels already. We're just gonna move on through here. All right, we're good. We are good. And we have cleared the West Wing. So both of them are cleared now. We are gonna look at hitting upstairs. Yeah, I mean, of course there's upstairs. I saw them down there. I, I don't know why I just didn't think anything of that. Well, let's go ahead and pop up the top, and we are going to do a peek at the top. Okay, so we're seeing blobs. That's 
not a terrible sight. And yeah, there are even more stairs. Wild. It looks like it's a similar kind of layout to, yeah, down below. And these blobs are causing us a little bit of strife. So we'll remove them from existence. Yeah. Carry on through. Yeah, very similar layout to downstairs, so we're probably going to be experiencing the same kind of things. So I'm going to run with that idea and just try to uh, speed through this a little bit if we can. Okay. Just trying to be sure that we're not leaving anyone here that could potentially smash up these resources. And, um, hmm, yeah. So, many of you did note that uh, the damage that we've seen to this building doesn't seem to be from, you know, hulks or strong creatures. It's a very uniform shape, like that of a crater from a missile. So, yeah. Oh, ha, where the frickin' heck did you come from? Well, there is definitely some portal activity here as we hear a screeching from behind us, reeling around as the blobs roll towards us. We see a hunting horror. It is lightly injured. However, this is some sort of great viperine creature possessed of a curious distorted head and massive clawed appendages. It partially supports itself with the aid of black rubbery wings of monstrous dimensions. Its form writhes and changes before your eyes, filling you with unnameable horror. This thing is quite large, I think, much larger than it seems. So we're gonna try and run back from where we are now, hoping that the blobs will engage this creature and that we might be able to get our rifle out in time. Let's see. We're just gonna go ahead and drop the baton for now. Oh, it is coming straight for us. Fantastic, okay. We're gonna go ahead and change into automatic. We're gonna to start to try and steady ourselves as much as possible. Okay, 75 is what we got. All right, we have a few bullets missed there, but we have some others that just tear straight into this flying creature. It is moderately injured at this stage. We're gonna try and, ah, you're running, fantastic. Okay, heard plop, stop aiming. No, we will not stop. <laughs> we will not stop the plop. Okay, all right, that's probably the best that we're going to get. No, we'll not stop aiming. 100%. Okay, here we go. And I think we, yeah, pretty much hit the blob for the most part. No, we did get one hit on the hunting horror. We don't want this thing to get away. We also don't want to use all of our ammunition on it as well. So we might try and see if we can do a sneaky switch back to our baton. Storing that back into our inventory. It looks like the hunting horror has decided to return to us. So we need to start to try and diminish the power of these blobs. The blob hit our torso. We don't really want to be standing where we are at the moment as well, so let's see if we can shift. We're holding up okay. Starting to slowly get out of breath. The zombie doesn't seem all that concerned with the hunting horror. <laughs> Stand our ground. And the hunting horror is upon us. We spin back around with our baton, sinking our fangs into the creature as we force it to the ground. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it tries to climb to its feet as we wrap it around the uh, the IV poles that are beside us, trying to get the thing tangled within it. We slam our baton down onto its head as we tear into it with our fangs. Again, we strike starts to run. Nearly dead. We don't want this thing to get away. Like most of the animals in this game, it seems to run and then comes back. We try to counterattack, but we are exhausted as we swing out towards the creature. Our torso encumbrance throws us off balance. We try to catch our breath 
as the hunting horror reels back in towards us. Well, we manage to batter it away at the very least as we try to get our breath back. It darts backwards and forwards, running. Hmm, a little bit more. There we go, and with one final slam from our baton. And as our fangs dig into this enlarged head at the front of it, it slowly starts to disappear, melting away into nothing. Let's take a deep breath, Dusk. Well earned. Now, we are hearing more sounds. Are those sounds coming from above or below? Let's just wait until we hear some more. Hmm. I'm, try I'm trying to catch them here. Nah, it's fine. We'll just let that continue for now. We're going to wait. We're going to catch our breath. Ignore the other sounds for now. I'm going to smash that security guard and uh yeah we managed to get our rifle back into here that's good um let's just go ahead and unload this magazine for now and we'll unload that just go ahead and reload this one and then yes 13 rounds okay all right let's continue our exploration throughout this place just quickly open up these doors, and we see a flying polyp across the way. Yeah, we are definitely seeing and experiencing multiple multi-dimensional creatures. <laughs> I mean, maybe they're not multi-dimensional. Well, they're multi-dimensional now because they're here, but uh, they certainly aren't from our dimension. We let that creature keep doing what it does. And we'll try to ignore it. Occasionally I will have a look through some of the things that we find along the way to see if there's anything specifically interesting. Especially when I see test tubes, but it does seem like they had a very different kind of research in mind here. I want to be a little cautious of these as well because the, it could be irradiated here. I did leave the Geiger counter back in the car because, you know, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Got another destroyed wall down there. Oh, wow, that gave me a fright. <laughs> Blob jump scare. Of course. And, yeah, the bashing weapon works a lot better. Nice. Good stuff. Still seeing the same creature across the way. All right, to the next we go. Funnels are plenty. All right, we're hydron, we're hydrated, hydrated, and our hunger is okay. We've got a zombie security guard, and yes, we have ourselves a shimmering portal. Let's not step into the portal. Let's just try to move around it. I wonder if we can get the zombie to walk through it. <laughs> We are not going to walk through it. We are going to whack this one, though. Quickly dispatching them. Um, you know what, we'll take those bandages, sure. And what's on this USB? It's just a USB drive. Okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Just make sure the rest of the place is clear. Okay. We continue on, Dusk, we continue on. And these blobs we will deal with. Another good thing about having so many blobs is that we have access to many blob globs. And blob globs are a fantastic resource for us when it comes to um, <clears throat> crafting mutagens. And I'm pretty sure that the blob globs don't spoil. Whereas tainted flesh and all the rest it can rot or it does rot and uh it's not very useful then so yeah it's much more useful for us to hold on to that good old stuff let's just clear out these offices i mean there could be some useful things in the desk so we're just going to have a quick look at them more looking for id cards and anything what kind of thing is that soldering iron all right, it looks a little different. Okay. 
The zombie security guard has seen us, so we'll let them wander towards us. Yeah, you really don't want to be a security guard here. <laughs> it didn't it didn't turn out too well for them in life, and it's not turning out too well for them in death either. Onwards we go, Dusk. We're seeing an amoebic mold now. And, ah, it's over to the east? Yes. Yes, it is. We'll deal with that when we get there. Just keep opening up all of this. Three stories up now. And there is a fourth. We're going to find our way to a roof. If we do, I imagine we'll be able to see it very far. Alright, we have spotted a blob. Okay. More batteries. Good. And that blob just went right downstairs. So it seems at the moment, creatures are having no issue using stairs, which is good. It's not always the case. And, well, that's a troubling sight. We enter the room and find a blank body. It is some form of unnatural changeling creature. Its appearance is a bland mockery of the human form. Featureless and pale, its repugnant countenance is all the more unsettling due to its lack of eyes and distinguishing features, except for a perfect round mouth. Naked and trembling, it almost seems pitiful but for the way it unearth, its unearthly presence makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up in nameless horror. Close the door behind us and just watch the creature as it writhes backwards and forwards, afraid of dusk, trying to flee from her. We don't know what it is exactly. It isn't trying to harm us right now. Maybe we do leave it here. You, though, you are trying to harm us. We can't have that. What was it doing just in this office? Was it someone before, or was it always this creature? Hmm. Well, we can't fault it. What do we have there? A small LCD screen. We won't worry about that. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, things just went up a notch. To the east, a flaming eye is in our sight, which means we are in its sight. There it is, all the way across here. An enormous disembodied eyeball, the size of a person flying through the air through some unknown agency, wreathed in, yeah, wreathed in unnatural flickering blue flame. It possesses a blazing yellow iris with a slitted pupil that, like that of a cat, and trails a set of flailing black tendrils as it slowly drifts about, its unearthly presence filling you with dread at the prospect of falling under its baleful gaze. We do not want that thing to see us. And honestly, don't think light makes a difference. If it wants to see us, it'll see us. And we can kind of maybe imagine now why the government, and I think it was this country's government, tried to destroy this place, attacked it with missiles, because they unleashed something else here. <laughs> the cataclysm comes in many forms. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I think we're going to need a Barrett for that. That is, that definitely constitutes a Barrett. So, let's start moving, because this thing can kill us. Can and will kill us. And we do not want that. So let's make our way back towards the vehicle. Our heart is pounding as we see all the different blobs. <laughs> Bridget's just having a good old sleep. Just blissfully unaware. How nice. How nice 
it would be. We're going to drop our M4A1 in there. And let's see if we can't track down the Barrett. Whereabouts are you, Barrett? There you are. We don't have any ammunition for you. Of course we don't. Uh, do we have no ammunition at all? I thought we had some. I, th I think we do. I think we do. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Reload you. We reload the Barrett magazine. Oh, freaking fantastic. Okay, great. What's our weight looking like at the moment? All right, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> okay, we'll go ahead and whip that out when we uh, make our way down there. And we are going to continue on. Um, let's just have a look to see if we have anything caffeinated. I'm pretty sure we do have some caffeinated gum or something of the like. So let's just have a quick gander here. Caff, caffeinated chewing gum and caffeine pills as well. We're going to take a caffeinated pill and a caffeinated chewing gum. Just to kind of try and keep us a little bit more alert as we make our way back. Okay. Mini, mini blobs. <laughs> mini, mini blobs. They're aware of us. They can kind of hear us. Yeah, there's definitely a missile that's come straight through there. Okay, up we go. Where we stop? Well, the third floor. Ah, hi there. Did I not go... Oh, this is the top floor. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was over there. It was over in that direction. Yes, yes it was. Oh yeah, flaming eye, we can see it. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get this thing out. All right, I want to try and see if we can get a bench and move that out here so that we can kind of rest ourselves against it. Just wait to see if we can see this eye pop back out. Because I'm pretty sure we can get it from quite a distance. Just waiting patiently in the darkness. We see the mold wander back out. We're going to have to move forward more, I think. It was over in this direction. So the kind of, the, the question I have is, uh, yeah, did we have a direct line of sight to it? I, I don't think we do. It might be even through some glass or something like that. And if that's the case, that makes things even more difficult, which is unfortunate. Let's just go through here for now. Making our way through. I'm trying my best to not miss any potential research documents. Hmm. The veterinary manual is potentially helpful, but we're going to leave it here for now. Um, just too heavy. Too heavy. I really want to try and get the attention of that mold, but I don't want to get the attention of the eye so close. Hmm. We might not have much of a choice here. The mold needs to go. So let's see if we can't bring it over towards us. We're going to go take that baton back out. No sign of the eye yet. Ah, uh, but we can see something dead on the ground here. Amigo. Well, the mole isn't attacking us, but we've seen things come out of it before, and the amoebic mold melts away. Where is this freaking eye? We're going to have the Barrett out and ready, because uh, we need to have our monster slaying weapon at the ready. And I feel like, I feel like it's probably time that we give this thing a name. Yeah. Hmm. We've got a scalpel. We can use that to carve or to write on an item. Uh, it's label. Monster slayer or monster killer? Monster slayer. Yeah, Monster Slayer plus three. <laughs> we know what it is. Okay. Ah, there it is. Oh, shit. 
Not good, not good, not good. The flaming eye stares at you, and you shudder. We... We're being watched. The eye is aware of us, and perhaps much more than just the eye is now aware of dusk. Let's see if we can't get an angle on this thing. Oh no, we, we can't from here. Well, maybe we... Hmm. There is a lot of stuff between us and it, which is frustrating. Well, we do have high caliber bullets, and there's a chance that we can set our sights true. The flying projectile destroys several items as we forget to put something into our ears. And yeah, we destroyed the glass there. We take a step back up towards the side. We plug those ears in. We try to steady our sights towards the creature. Reading another bullet ah, as it moves further away. Let's see, our chance to hit isn't great. But we do have a chance. Another shot of rings through. Destroying several items, but not destroying it. Let's move closer. Which is going to put us in danger, but I think it's necessary. Let's peek here. We can't see it. Peek down here. We still can't see it. If it steps here, we will have a direct line of sight on it. So let's wait. Let's get safe mode on. So that if we can hear again. This thing is just waiting now. Are we in line with it? Not yet, no. It's down here. We should be able to see straight through. Yup, now we can. Oh, what was that? There was something here, some, some shift of light. Now, the flaming eyes do have a rather destructive beam. Ah, a flying polyp. Not what we're looking for. Hits the zombie scientist. Okay, there's some fighting going on. But still no sign of that damn eye. That's what we're really concerned about. The polyp we can fight in melee. The eye... I'm not so certain. Ah. I see. So our shot kind of went through the door here and up through the glass right. That's not going to help us, unfortunately. We're going to keep our ears plugged up. We're going to keep Monster Killer or Monster Slayer at the ready. Monster Killer would be a good ode to Krug Smash. Ah, and we have yet another portal. Let's try to keep our balance as we move around it. So many portals. Okay. Peak. There it is. Okay. Alright, I know the angle now. There it is. I don't think we have a direct line from here. Nah, there's too much. Oh, it's a maybe. Take another step forward. I think that's going to be a better angle. That's a big maybe. We've still got eight rounds. The eye is severely injured. It's fleeing. What? Another bullet tears out. Holy crap. The 50 caliber round tears through the air, smashing through the reinforced glass and piercing the eye. Fluid spills on the ground as it deflates and floats down to the table surface. Monster killer. Well done. 
Uh, you know what? I keep on calling you Monster Killer. <laughs> I feel like it has to be Monster Killer. All right. We're renaming you. Here we go. It's a label. Monster Killer. All right. Let's go ahead and wield this baton of ours. And uh, we'll go and activate our earplugs. All right, we are still very much under the gaze of something undetermined as we smash the security guard. We approach what we had killed. Another one of those blank bodies just on the ground. And the eye. I wouldn't mind hauling that thing out of here, I'll be honest. Let's see if we can. Can we haul you onto here? Just grabbing it by... What the hell was that? Let's make sure we shift it off of... Uh... Yeah. So that it's very visible. What we'll do with that, I don't know. But, yeah. We need to research. We need to understand. Okay, let's check the scientists. I should have been checking some of the others because there's still a chance that the scientists can have really good things. Um, yeah, but neglectful that I didn't do that sooner. Um, however, we are gonna do a full sweep of this place off camera. Hi there. Let's wait for you to approach if you're going to. I don't think you are, but we have you cornered. We are going to make a mess of you. Continuously damaging the thing. We actually damaged our weapon there. I'm relatively sure. Let's have a look back at that log. Yes, we did damage the baton. It is going to break soon. Um, we might have to look at getting another at some point. I'm sure that won't be too much of a problem. Now, I don't know whether or not this was from another missile or what, but... A large portion of that wall has been destroyed, and we have a hunting horror. Whether or not we try to just fight this thing, I don't know. It rushes down the hallway towards us, and we sink our fangs into it. <laughs> yes, we jab at the hunting horror. Yeah, it's kind of like a dog, where it's going to rush in and back. I'm pretty sure hunting horrors are really, really large creatures, though. And we cannot increase our melee above six <laughs> by just fighting like this. All right, it rushes back in towards us. We managed to block some of the damage. It's just, yeah. Wait, from the north you hear, it's faster than us. We got Migos, or people. The hunting horror struggles to stand, so we jab at it, thrusting our baton down upon its horrid head and tearing at it with our fangs. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> and another blank body. Just moving about the space. Seemingly unaware of us before it gets right next to us. We're going to leave it in there. And that one too. It follows us and then runs. What are you doing? Why are you following me? like this. This creature, I kind of get a potential spoiler alert, um, an annihilation feel from it, where it's almost mimicking Dusk's movements. Moving as she does. Perhaps trying to encourage her to walk back into that space. Or are you following me now because of the eye? Because... We are glowing. Hmm. You're not so aware of me now, but you are in my way. Good. You do well to move. Let's keep moving ourselves. And what in the hell is that? Oh, sweet. 
just a tear in reality. What the hell? Oh. Oh. Holy crap, this place is dangerous. Two flaming eyes are heaped in the corner, and a pit tears through the ground, leading to a physical tear in reality that we are not going to stand for or stand into. But we will kill that Migo. Um, there's another flaming iron here as well, and a syringe of adrenaline. We're going to take that. Holy crap. Um, yeah, that's a tear in reality. Can we throw something at it? I don't know. Let's see. What do we want to throw? The bone? Our, our special bone? I don't know if we want to. <gasps> oh god. Okay. Um, is that our bone? No, there's plastic chunks. Yeah, we got covered in bile there. As we move past, just bile and and goo, I guess, uh, covered us. We'll wait here for a while longer. Ah, oh, we are still covered in this stuff. Okay. Um, and I can't find our bone either. I think our bone went straight into that thing. Okay, means to clear it all off. Um, yeah, so... Oh, the bone is on the square. Are we going to reach for it? We have to. It's a special bone. Okay. Yeah, let's not stand in that thing at all. A tear in reality. Okay. Okay. Well. Good times. And we are... Well, <laughs> we're being watched. We certainly are. Now, I thought we might have had a radiation badge. We do. Let's just check that radiation badge. Can we see the color on it? I'm just trying to look at the description here. Hmm. No. Haven't noticed any change. Okay, under the blank body. No living scientists left. All of them changed. And you are right in my way. You want to follow me out here? That's fine. You strange, creepy individual. It's not outwardly aggressive to us, which is why Dusk isn't killing it. But it's disturbing all the same. Okay. No books for us. We do have some dead bodies here though. What killed them? <laughs> what indeed? Quite a few security guards. It's a good cash card. Hmm. I do want to be checking the desks, but uh, yeah, not much. A vortex device. It's just for spinning things. Okay. That carpet really freaked me out for a second then. And that's the interior staircase that we've seen um, on the lower level. So we're not going to worry about that right now. Guns and ammo. Okay. Well... It's another, another place clear, another level clear, yeah, both wings. Uh, we did miss a section down here, so we're just going to move back towards that, move a lot slower when we're moving like that. Alright, both of you are getting a little frustrating, <laughs> yeah, okay, no journals. Journals that we're really looking for. 
we did miss one office down here, so we'll have a quick look. Right, we're good. Alright then. If you get in my way, I will strike at you. Yeah, so I thought this could be the top floor. Apparently not. Apparently there is more. A way up. And we are still... We can't see it here. It's not a... Uh, effects that we're aware of, but there is definitely something going on. Okay, let's peek upstairs. And this does seem to be the top, the fourth level. Okay, up we go then. We can see a number of staff moving towards us. We brutally maim the creature, snapping its arm backwards as the two scientists move towards us. Dusk quickly and efficiently dispatches them as another colleague of theirs stumbles out into the hallway. The same fate befalls it, this time by fang rather than fist. Let's grab Thorazine, the bandages, and we will leave the rest with you. Our first aid kit's damaged. All right, stay on the move. I mean, I can't imagine there's going to be anything hidden in these bathrooms, but it's just good to know for certain. Ah! <laughs> I stand corrected. It looks like there's a roof. And the very, very top floor, we don't have to use a... Yeah, we don't have to use our torch to get into, so I guess that's a technique for you. And we got ourselves another doctor's badge. Okay, we'll leave that one. Now, does this actually work? It does not. But we can access it, so I guess that's a bonus. And it doesn't seem like there is much of a multi-dimensional presence up here. It seems to mostly be the ex-staff who have been turned by all of this madness. Ah, hi. Just got a flying friend outside. Good. Just, uh, you do you. Grab me if you want. We can actually see a hunting horror somewhere to the west outside. Ah, two hunting horrors. Okay, okay. Well, now we're talking. And we can see more of this building destroyed by strikes. That just didn't seem to do enough to take it down. Okay. This is nice and shut up. Some more thread in the corner. Sure, why not? I'm a sucker for thread. <laughs> it's my one weakness. Well, I have many weaknesses in this game. Um, we are not wielding a baton. Hmm. Don't know how or when that happened. But it was more than likely something I did by mistake. Okay, we're all right here. Good. Hello there. Welcome. We got some pain for you. That's better. Oh, gasoline fuel cell CBM. Okay. So many CBMs. My gosh, Bran. If only, my friend. If only. Not bad. I do feel like this place could... I mean, it's it's pretty well defended in terms of the amount of um, dead that I hear. But um, just with how, I mean, seemingly important. Ah, there's a little roof level here. Yeah, how seemingly important this research lab is. Perhaps more outside defenses would be, you know, of benefit in the forms, well, I mean, obviously there were lots of blobs, but um, maybe they would still have some kind of mechanical presence here, be it chicken walkers or something else horrible outside. Because this is a real, real treat. Blibby, I am not complaining, one bit. Every break you can get in Cataclysm, you gotta take. But, uh, yeah. Dusk is a accomplished end game character, so it is, well it's always going to be a bit uh, more straightforward for her to accomplish these things. 
Okay. Zombie scientists to the north, that's the one that's outside. Ah, let's see, how are we going to make our way towards you, huh? How does that work? Just, just through that gap there, is that how we do it? I guess that's how we do it. Can we find a way back inside? I don't know. So this is like a, yeah, it's like a skylight. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. Uh, let's not step onto the ledge, no. Can we find our way back in here? Um, undetermined. We might have to go down along the other side to be able to do that. Because this is reinforced glass, I don't think we're going to be able to break through it. Just like this. Yeah, we do not seem to be damaging the reinforced glass. Well, with that being the case, let's make our way back in. Those hunting horrors aren't going anywhere right now. Let's make our way back down. Uh, we will be making our way up, but we've got to go right around first. Ah, oh, we can see a, a crack to the south, and what is that symbol there? I do not know what that means. It's not that we're lit up, there is something else going on there. You are very hard to hit. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Hmm. Kinda looks like a... Does that look like a mushroom to you? Hmm. I don't like that. Have we been exposed to something here? Possibly. We're unaware of it right now. We're going to have to keep a close eye on our well-being. Now, we have cleared out this way already. We'll just make our way back up. Around all of this mess. And climb on up here. So, yeah, the... The tally glow. Or rather, the, uh... Well, the watchful, gla watchful gaze that we had on this before is, uh diminished it would seem so we don't have that same kind of uh, hair prickling feeling or rather maybe it's not as bad but now I feel even more uncomfortable because I don't know what the hell that means <laughs> but I do know that in here there are hunting horrors and uh, I don't know how good or bad we are going to be at fighting them. Yes. Lots of... Lots of dead... Ah, good. Right. Yeah, lots of blob globs dead here. But we have another tear in reality. Swell. Wonderful. And we have Amigo. Hi there. Well, we're still completely fine at fighting you. Stop you from getting away. There we go. And we'll smash that scientist, making sure that they can't come back to life. Looks like they might have come back a few times before. We're closing in on where those hunting horrors were. A lot of destruction in here. Oh boy. We have a flaming eye down the corridor here. We're not going to take a chance with flaming eyes. We are not going to take a chance. We're going to take Monster Killer. We're going to aim up. Because, uh... Wow! 182 damage. Our ears ring. Yup. It's heavily injured, but it is not dead. It is fleeing from us, though. Which is interesting. We heard plop, stop aiming. We're going to ignore that. We're going to try and get as good of a shot as we can. Oh, come on. Don't get in the way, Blob. Yes, there we go. 154 damage. And it is dead. Um, I believe we didn't have our earplugs in for that, though. So, yeah. Our ears are ringing. But they're not, uh, they're not completely screwed. Ah, there we go. Let's take care of the blobs first. 
let's start to destroy this hunting horror. Which, really, oh, we feel sick inside. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay. It's another dead. Ah, uh, right. Okay. We feel sick. Let's go back through these logs here. We feel sick inside. That's not good. Alright, we need to start trying to take medication. Because we have been exposed to something here. Ow. You done hurt me. The haunting horror seems to fear us more than anything. Come on. Keep slamming. That's another down. Okay, I think that's the two that we saw. Oh my god, another flaming eye? Of course, the freaking portals. And the eye stares at us. And we do not feel good about that. We whip out, monster killer. Steadying our shot. Hitting the creature. Pulling back. Taking another shot, but not enough to kill it. Damn it, come on. Don't let this thing get away. Our eardrums ache. The eye is dead. We need to get back to our vehicle. We need to get that baton back on. Um, we don't have anything first aid, I think, that can help us right now. Yeah, no. We need to get back to our vehicle. Find anything that's anti-parasitic. We use antibiotics, we'll use whatever the hell we can. As we rush back to the outside. Still feeling that sense of something watching us. Okay, we cough heavily, dusk is not well, we clamber into the back, okay, we need to do something about this, so let's have a look, we're going to do an all around search, and we are going to sort, we want to sort by category here, we want to have a look at our drugs, Okay, so what do we have with us right now? Son of a bitch, we do not have much. <laughs> I don't think the gamma shot's gonna help us. We will take it. I don't think there's anything in the first aid kit that would help us either. We're gonna take that as well. I don't know what the others are going to do for us. We're going to take them out. We're gonna take the antibiotics. I think we might need antifungal medication here. I'm not sure. Dusk isn't sure what's wrong with her. So, let's have a look and see what we got. First of all, the the gamma shot. I think we should look at taking that. Did I just shift that stuff? Did I not take it? All right. <laughs> yeah, I think that's exactly what I did. Okay, so we're standing here, so they're going to be on this square just beneath me. In here. Right. Well, let's go back to our inventory. <laughs> Apologies. And we'll have a look at our drugs all around again. So... Oh, we do have antiparasitic. Okay, that's something. Maybe it's parasitic. We can't be certain. Uh, we'll take the flu shot. We'll take that. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of everything that we can take right now. Okay. 
Let's take a step out the car. Okay, all right. The Gamma Shot is going to temporarily strengthen our immune system. Activate. We feel tough. That's good. Okay, let's go ahead and inject the flu shot as well. Okay. Next up, we're going to take a anti-parasitic drug. We're going to take some antibiotics. And... <laughs> let's just have a look at the others. Okay. Broad spectrum antibiotic. Okay. Boost the body's resistance against them. We're going to go ahead and take this while. Well, I feel like we might be taking too much medication here. Oh boy. Destragon. Antibacterial medication. Designed to prevent or stop the spread of infection. It contains nearly toxic levels of antibiotics. Okay. Yeah. We can't take that now. We've just taken... We've taken other types of... Yeah. Of antibiotics. So, nearly toxic levels. Doesn't sound like it's going to be good. Diazepam isn't going to help us out at the moment. Um, honestly, I think the only thing that we're missing right now is antifungal medication. And we don't have any here, by the looks of things. Which is not good for us. Not good in the slightest. There is a chance that there could have been some on the lower levels of this place. There could be a chance that we are healing already. But I don't think that's the case. We are vaccinated right now. Took a, took a weak antibiotic and took antibiotics. So you can see those effects at the very least. But yeah, we... Oh, this isn't good. It's troubling, to say the least. We don't feel good. That thing staring us down might have done something to us. We can't be certain yet. But perhaps we will find out in the future. I want to thank you all for joining me for another episode with Dusk. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like or a comment to let me know if you enjoyed the show. It is so good to be back and to be creating material for you all. For now though, I have been Rikon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.